Imagine a world where journalists are not allowed to report on the atrocities of war. Where would we be without the truth? In the heart of such a world in 2013, a beacon of light emerged, the Press House. Born from the initiative of a group of independent journalists, this non-profit, non-representative Palestinian media institution rose against the odds. Its mission was clear and unshakable, to promote freedom of opinion and expression, to support independent media, and to provide legal protection for journalists in Palestine. The Press House stood as a testament to the power of truth, despite the tumultuous surroundings. It was a fortress of free speech in a landscape where such liberties were threatened. It painted the raw, unvarnished picture of life on the ground, delivering stories from those who lived them to the world beyond. The Press House was a beacon of light in the midst of conflict, providing the world with a glimpse of the harsh realities on the ground. However, this beacon of light was not immune to the ravages of war. The Press House, an independent media institution established by a group of determined journalists, fell prey to the destructive forces of conflict. Its building, once a symbol of freedom and truth, was leveled to the ground by the Israeli military. It wasn't just bricks and mortar that were lost, lives were extinguished too. The director of Press House, Bilal Jadala, was tragically killed when his vehicle was directly hit by a bomb in Gaza City. This tragedy did not stop there. Risk Al-Garabli, the director of the Palestinian Information Center in the Gaza Strip, also lost his life in airstrikes on the city of Khan Yunis. This is a grim reminder of the perils journalists face in the line of duty. Since the start of the conflict, 124 journalists and media personnel have been killed across the besieged Gaza Strip. The destruction of the press house is not just an attack on a building, but an assault on the very essence of truth and freedom. In the wake of this devastation, the world must ask who will now tell the story of Gaza. The aftermath of the war has left a profound impact on the population of Gaza. Nearly 28,000 lives have been lost with the majority being women and children. This is not just a number, this is a generation wiped out, dreams extinguished, futures denied. The war has also led to the displacement of the majority of Gaza's population. Imagine 85% of the people now find themselves without a home, their lives uprooted, their sense of safety shattered. The land they once knew is now a battlefield, the sky a harbinger of destruction. To add to this, Gaza is grappling with acute shortages of food, clean water and medicine. The people are not just fighting for their land, they are fighting for basic human needs. The situation is dire, the need urgent. But amidst this chaos, the destruction of the press house poses a new challenge. How do we ensure that the voice of Gaza reaches the world? How do we ensure that their stories are not buried under the rubble? The world needs to hear the voice of Gaza more than ever. Support press freedom. For it is the cornerstone of any democratic society. Let the truth be heard.